Conservative and media viewers and NBA fans all around the world, what's up? It's me, John D. Villarreal, the four-time national champion and the super genius. I'm talking about the NBA Finals. And this was Golden State Warriors versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. Steph Curry versus LeBron James and the whole cast of, of different players there. Now, this was an incredible game. I mean, this was a close game. There was a lot of excitement in Oakland. First game. And, dude, I mean, it looked like the uh, Cleveland Cavaliers were going to win. LeBron James had massive points. Okay, I mean, unbelievable amount of points. And he was hitting three-point shots. He was doing all kinds of stuff. He was passing there to Irving, and he had you know, Shumpert in the mix, Mazgov, all kinds of different stuff. And it looked like, you know, LeBron James and Cleveland Cavaliers were going to win. They drove down there. They had that last shot situation. LeBron kind of took a tough shot. I don't know why he didn't sort of just dribble and, and go for the basket, go for an easier shot, or look for some contact. But that didn't go. And then it go, kicks out there for that last shot. But that didn't go either. And then it goes to overtime. And, oh, man. And you had Steph Curry. Before that, Steph Curry goes up there. And it goes that layup. And then it just is blocked, dude, by Irving. And it was just incredible block. And all this, I mean, it looked like Cleveland had this in their hand. But then when it hit overtime, oh my goodness, if you were a Cleveland Cavalier fan, they couldn't hit anything. I mean, they weren't hitting anything. And Golden State was just going on a run and breaking it out, dude. And then Irving hurt himself with that with that, that uh, contact there. I mean, what happened? He kind of dribbled, kind of slipped, kind of, you know, I don't know if there was contact. There's different things going on. He's limping off the court. I mean, Love's not in there. Listen, LeBron James can't carry the whole team himself, dude. Not in the finals, okay? And you have the depth and the speed of Golden State. And Golden State wins this at home. But there's a lot of storylines coming on now here. I mean, what's going to happen with LeBron James? What's going to happen with Cleveland Cavaliers? How bad is, is Irving hurt? Does this instill confidence in Golden State? What about the next game? I mean, yes, it's one game and Golden State won at home. But there's so many things to talk about in this. This is the NBA Finals, dude. And this is where it comes down. This is where the championships are made. I mean, LeBron James went from Miami, broke up the three kings, went over there to Cleveland, and, and people weren't really sure. But now he's risen to the top. And if LeBron James wins here, especially under these conditions, with this Cleveland Cavaliers, I mean, this is going to cement LeBron as one of the, if not the, possibly the best player of all time because of, of at least in the modern era, look at what's going on. Look at what he would have accomplished. Look at, at, at all the championships and trophies and everything like that. I'm sorry, that's not an overstatement in my opinion. But there's a long way between now and that potential championship because now you've got a beat up Cleveland team. You've got a hungry and motivated and perhaps now confident Golden State team. And what's going to happen now? I want to know about this storyline. Do we have a situation where we've got the best team versus the best player? What other kind of, how are the schemes going to change? What's going to happen in this NBA series? A lot to talk about. I want to hear from you right now. Give me the comments below. Please subscribe. Please rate this video up. Also, please post it on your social networking sites. Thanks so much for watching. I'm John D. Valero, the four-time national champion and the super genius. I'll see you next time.